Hello everyone. We already know that electron doesn't exist in specific orbit. Rather, it exists in a particular region of space around the nucleus and these are called orbitals. And this was said by an Austrian physicist named Erwin Schrodinger. So, in a certain space, only one orbital can exist and they do not overlap. Now that we have moved on to quantum mechanical model of an atom from Bohr's model, how does the electron configuration change? Let us see. Now, each orbital with stable energy state for the electron is described by a set of quantum numbers. Let us see the first one. These are called principal quantum number which is related to the size and energy of main shells. You can compare the shells with the orbits in Bohr's model. So, n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, that is positive integer values. The shell contains one or more subshells and a subshell contains orbitals. Also, each orbital can have only two electrons. Now we move to subshell from shell. We have introduced the orbital angular momentum quantum number which is denoted by L. Value of L can be 0 to n minus 1 and each value represents a subshell. This means for n equal to 1, L is only 0 which means there is only one subshell, the subshell S. For n equal to 2, L can be 0 or 1. So, there are two subshells, that is subshell S corresponding to L equal to 0 and subshell P corresponding to L equal to 1. For n equal to 3, L can be 0, 1 or 2. Thus, we get three subshells here. That is subshell S corresponding to L equal to 0, P corresponding to L equal to 1 and subshell D which corresponds to L equal to 2. And for N equal to 4, L is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. Hence, the subshells here are S, P, D and F corresponding to L equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Thus, for the fourth shell, that is shell N, there can be four subshells S, P, D and F. Thus, we see the angular momentum quantum number is denoted by L and it can take the value in the range of 0 to n minus 1. Here each value of L denotes a subshell. So now we know about the two quantum numbers that is principal quantum number and angular momentum quantum number. The rest two we shall understand in the next class. Until then bye bye.